Hello YouTube, Ready Reptiles here with another video and in today's video we have a very special project going on. As you guys know right behind me, this is my adult pair Lewis I, uh hybrid habitat uh, where Mando and Meg are. But for the last month and a half they've been inside just because we've had fluctuations in colder temperatures here at night. So instead of me putting them in and out throughout the day, I set them up inside. So I took the advantage to kind of clear out their old habitat, take out all the cypress mulch, all the old palm stumps, all the old logs and things like that that you guys know. And I will be making it pretty much more Caribbean like more like their natural setup so right here I have one yard of this kind of concrete sand it's very very perfect uh, it's not too coarse it's not too you know big in size of a rock in case that they were to eat it they get impacted uh, what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be loading all the sand into this habitat and then we also have lots and lots of big style rocks here that is going to you know create more of a natural habitat where they come from as well as that we're going to incorporate some of the logs and maybe some of the stumps and then hopefully here in a little bit later in the future uh, i'll be able to create them a nice little small heated shelter outside as well so like that in the cases where we do get a little bit of colder weather at night i'm going to lock them in and they'll stay nice and warm so hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the rest of the video Alright, so at this point, uh, I've shoveled up a whole yard of concrete sand inside their habitat. As you can see, things are looking nice and beautiful. Uh, obviously, it's still a little bit irregular. I'm going to take the rake, even everything out, you know, maybe make some high points in the back, uh, some lower parts in the front, just like that. They're not so close to the entrance when the door is obviously, you know, opened up and things like that. Uh, besides that, we still have to put all these rocks in. Uh, hopefully making some more like naturalistic kind of maybe caves i'm not trying to give them so much hiding places just because i want to make them a heated shelter of course uh where they you know they're going to primarily use it but i do have some ideas in mind that i might do with these rocks and of course we do have some logs here i may not use them all uh but i may use just a few just to kind of give them a little bit of higher points as far as them getting you know higher into the habitat and we have some leftover tree stumps maybe i use them maybe i don't but i kind of want to stay away from things like that i want to give them a more natural look also uh, the sand is the number one primary thing that i want to do uh you may be asking why i didn't choose rock and the reason being is because uh, iguanas sometimes even tortoises will do this they will eat rocks uh just by accident or sometimes they do it for fun uh and you know that can cause them some impaction getting inside their stomach you know they can clog them up they'll end up dying if i don't catch it on time but this sand as you can notice uh it's very very thin uh you know if they were to ingest a little bit of it it wouldn't bother them whatsoever so I uh, hope you guys enjoy those time lapses as well. Uh, I also thought about using this fish tank stand. Uh, you know, it swings open. Where is, does it swing open? Yeah, it swings open here. Uh, and I thought about using it, maybe laying it down or something. So like that, we can create them a little bit of a shelter with that. But who knows?
right guys so this is what i'm going with so far i know i did say i was going to add a heated shelter but that is going to be in the future because i still have the iguanas inside for the next couple of days to a week or so so i have time to do that but as you can see i've gone with this traditional kind of two log setup so they can bask directly here a fallen down tree trunk with a nice layer of rocks around it with another basking perch going across on top of that so like that if they want to hang out on the tree trunk they can they want to hang out on the rocks they can as well or get all the way up onto the log here in the middle we have a three rock setup where these are kind of you know using it as a support beam but i added a rock there with this nice log that goes kind of at a lower angle uh, but all the way down uh, and as you can see if we get on a closer to the iguanas level view you can see that that nice mound of rock over there will be nice for them to kind of bask on uh, they can also use it as you know different territories and such uh, when i do add the heated shelter i may move this section and put it there or i'm thinking to put it in this corner right here uh, because that is going to be you know a perfect area for them to kind of just hide themselves during the you know colder months but we're almost out of the cold period here in florida uh, but as you can see the sand is all nice and raked up you know there's some shoe marks i gotta rake it uh once up uh, again but that's just gonna be okay uh, so i thought i would share that with you guys and show you guys the progress so yeah guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the entire process lots of time lapse went into this but if i didn't do a time lapse it just take forever to put all this footage condensed into one video because i did spend a ton of hours just you know shoveling sand from the truck into the habitat rearranging logs you know figuring out if i like things in one corner or the other as you can see i'm pretty happy with the final setup there will be an update video to this when i let go of the iguanas inside this habitat uh but as you guys know they've been inside I'm dirty, sand is completely everywhere, but that's part of the job. I love this, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I enjoy setting up habitats, I enjoy doing things to make my animals' lives better, always seeking improvement for them, giving them the best available you know, lifestyle that I can. Uh, as you guys know, before we had cypress mulch, we had other things, which is perfectly okay, but you know, after talking to a lot of people who have uh, more cyclery iguanas than I do, more you know, experience with that, uh, people like Michael Arrett, uh, who are, you know, top of the top with those kind of iguanas uh, he suggested doing this sand or doing uh, you know sometimes even larger river rocks but uh, that's just a lot more expensive as well so uh, for those that are wondering also this sand is called concrete sand like i said uh the entire yard to the yard of it costed me 35 dollars at my local nursery so maybe in your area it's cheaper maybe it's a little bit more expensive uh, but for an eight by eight as far as the base uh, we filled it up with the entire yard so you know you guys can kind of do the math like that uh, if it's something that interests you, you know, that's something that I would recommend for any cyclera species, maybe even keeping them inside in smaller habitats, you know, if you have hatchlings and things like that. Obviously, the rocks, uh, you know, you can get these at other places. I have a friend who, you know, makes large holes for a living and, you know, those come out of the ground here in Florida. Uh, so I was happy with that. And the logs, I've had them for years. So uh, I just thought I would share this whole process with you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more, obviously, videos on this habitat, on other things that I do with the tortoises, my other animals. And of course, if you want to see more footage like this, check me out on Instagram and at TikTok at Ready Reptiles. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment, likes, and see my fellow herpers.